senior baseball player prepares for his final season. The football team continues their offseason, conditioning the spike cold temperatures, and men's and women's basketball hits the road. Needless to say, primetime sports starts now. Thanks for joining me. I'm David Shealy, and we begin in the world of baseball. Senior catcher Joey Roach has accomplished much on and off of the diamond. Heading into his final season, he aims to continue that success. Primetime Sports correspondent Nathan Nair has more. With the baseball season being right around the corner, Georgia State fans have a lot to look forward to, especially the play of senior catcher Joey Roach. He played all 57 games last year and is looking to lead his team to a Sun Belt Championship. During the fall signing period, Georgia State added five new players, which included three freshmen and two junior college transfers. Joey Roach, who has played the last three seasons under coach Greg Frady, says that he is embracing the role of being a leader on this team and says that his experience will allow him to guide the newcomers through the new system. We have a lot of new guys that have a lot of talent this year. It's good to be a senior and be able to give them a little bit of guidance, and it's just really exciting. A lot of good, explosive groups. Um, a new year, new school, new teammates. Um, baseball's the same everywhere you go. Um, just trying to show them how we like to play baseball at Georgia State, be aggressive, be smart, show them how we want to play baseball and have a team aspect and not be individuals on the field. I think me being here for four years, seeing um, everything and seeing almost all different kinds of situations really helps me be able to relate to the new guys. With it being his final year, Roach is hopeful that this team can make a run for the Sun Belt Championship and end his collegiate career on a good note. Last year this team is definitely to win the Sun Belt Championship. Um, it's been four years and we've had great teams and come close a couple of times and this year we have a great group of guys, a lot of new guys, a lot of new talent. Um, I think we're really going to make a splash this year. Not only is Roach getting it done on the field, but he's getting it done in the classroom. His most recent academic honor being selected to the Capital One Academic All-America second team and the Capital One All-Academic District 4 first team in 2015. Make sure to highlight February 19th on your calendars because that's when the Georgia State baseball team will be hosting Western Michigan at the baseball complex in Panthersville. Reporting in front of the sports arena for Primetime Sports, I'm Nathan Nair. Thanks, Nathan. I'll make sure to have that date circled on my calendar. Georgia State football players placed their loss in last year's Cube Bowl behind them, and they are focused on next season. Primetime sports correspondent Jared Oliver has all the details on the team's preparation. Freezing temperatures 7 a.m. in the morning can make most people stay in the bed. <laughs> The Georgia State Panthers won't let 30 degree weather get in the way of their training for the 2016 season. It's definitely cold, uh, first off, you want to work out. But uh, once you come together as a team and leaders step up and guys follow, uh, you really find out a lot about each other. It becomes a great bond. It becomes fun more so than a workout. We made it to a bowl game last year, but we didn't win it. So we're just trying to come out here and get better every day and work towards a Sunbelt Championship and then win our bowl game this year. Conditioning the body is challenging. To do it in the cold is even tougher. The hardest part about winter workouts is when things get hard. When you get tired or when it's really cold outside or when you've been out here for an hour and you still have drills left to do, it's the hardest thing is to be uncomfortable and still go as hard as you can go. But once you get past that, you know, the, the sky's the limit. The dog days of winter workouts are hard to show up for, but this team holds everyone responsible for the recipe of success. It's just all about everybody coming out here and holding each other accountable and trying to make a family come together. It was great going to a bowl game, great milestone, great accomplishment for the program, but uh, our main goal this year is to win a bowl game. It's to win. You know, going and taking the trip is great, but the main goal is to win, win, win. That's my determination, my motivation. From the Georgia State Practice Facility, Jared Oliver, Primetime Sports. Thank you so much, Jared. This week, Primetime Sports reporter Caleb Johnson sat down with center Darcy Draper of the GSU women's basketball team, and here's what he learned. Here at Primetime Sports, we want you to get to know your athletes just a little bit better. I sat down with Darcy Draper from the women's basketball team this week to ask her a few questions so that you, the viewers, can get to know her. I'm Darcy Draper. I was born in Perth, Australia. My dad moved to America when he was 18 to just explore, and he met my mom. And then they got married and had me. And then uh, when my mom was seven months pregnant, she got moved by my dad to Australia so I would be born in Australia. And I lived there until I was a little kid. And then we moved back to America. And now I just go back to visit. What, a, what is it like having family that isn't necessarily, you know, five minutes, 15 minutes down the road? It's hard because especially them, they're like almost a full day ahead. 
and um, well, they're like a half day ahead, 14 hours, 15 hours, and uh, it's hard like scheduling times where I can talk to them and a lot of the times it's just a Facebook message mm -hmm. but um, like when I got to go visit them two summers ago it was the best trip of my life and I'm going this summer as well. Where'd you go to high school? Um, I went to high school in New Orleans and then I transferred my senior year to Pensacola High and then from there I went to the Air Force Academy and then I went to a junior college after I got hurt and from there I came here. So you said uh, you went to a military school. Mm -hmm. um, what was the reason of going to a military school? Uh, I like the discipline of it, and a lot of my family has been military. And uh, my high school coach and I decided that I was actually getting recruited by the Naval Academy as well. And we both agreed that it would be best for me to have a structured schedule where everything was pretty much laid out for me. And I wanted to be in the military and I still might one day. Last year, I was actually considering enlisting into the Navy Reserve, mm -hmm. and, um, and then from there, I actually walked into the Marines office on accident, and they pulled me in, and they're like, uh, they, they thought it was dumb for me to go reserves and said I needed to be an officer. So I started working out with them at Florida State, which is down the road from Tallahassee Community College, and um, I loved it, but I just, came here and got recruited, so. I started playing basketball in fifth grade, and then I didn't get serious about it until high school. And before then, I was a competitive soccer player, and I wanted to play soccer in college, and then I just grew really tall. I usually play center. Okay, is that all the time you ever switched to a four, or? Yeah, I played four. In high school, I was a three. Wow. Yeah. Is everyone just taller than you, or? No, I was just really skinny. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd get knocked over. And then I got to college, gained a lot of weight, lost a lot of weight, and now I've about evened out. I was like, um, I was 5'10 in like seventh grade. How tall are you now? 6'3". Six, three. Six, three. When I was in seventh grade, I actually, uh, I went to a private school in Florida, and um, I played varsity football. I was a kicker. Really? Yeah. And I became the youngest female to ever play in a varsity football game. It got confirmed by ESPN. The story never got picked up, but, you know. And I played uh, defensive end on junior university. I actually have a picture where there's two boys defending me, and I still broke through them. I was, bit, I was huge in middle school. <laughs> Again, I, I just like hitting people. That's honestly why I picked basketball over soccer. Get a little more contact. Yeah, I okay. just like throwing my body around. <laughs> uh, what brought you to Georgia State? Um, well, a lot of my family actually lives in Atlanta. I lived here for a year when I was younger. Okay. And I remember being in high school and looking up universities in Atlanta because I wanted to live here. And um, I, we were playing last year, um, Tallahassee Community College was playing at uh, Georgia Perimeter mm -hmm. and the coach saw me and um, I got like a big old packet and automatically I knew I was going to Georgia State. And I played in the hardest conference in the country for junior colleges, like uh, Evelyn, she's at Kentucky now, and uh, we had some really big players in our conference. So i say that the level of competition was pretty high in junior college, and it definitely prepared me for here. Where do you think you're going after college? I want to buy a van and take off through North America for a couple months. And then after that, I want to go back to Australia, maybe play overseas. While I'm traveling, I was hoping to, you know, begin a YouTube career. But um, if not, then I would like to go into production. Darcy certainly looks to have a promising career here at Georgia State University. Darcy, along with her teammates, will next be in competition tomorrow against the Little Rock, Arkansas Trojans. You can catch that game on ESPN3. For Primetime Sports, I'm Caleb Johnson. Fantastic piece there, Caleb. Maybe the Falcons can use some of that pass rush, huh? The women's basketball team is on the road competing against conference rivals. They fell to Arkansas State Thursday night, 75 to 54. Likewise, the men's basketball team was bested by Arkansas State in overtime, 75 to 69. Now, the atmosphere of last week's basketball game between Georgia State and Georgia Southern was absolutely electric. A big reason for this was the in-house DJ known as DJ Mark B. 
Primetime Sports reporter Rashad Milligan got the chance to learn more about the man behind the music. Favorite part of the night was swag surfing. I guess one because the video went viral. So you can't beat that. And then another, that was like the first time I've ever been, seen swag surfing with that many people joined him. Like I didn't expect that many people to do it. So once they did it and then we mixed in some new stuff with it, it was just insane. Mark B has been DJing since about 13. After he DJed outside a game for extra credit in a class, athletics invited him to bring the infectious atmosphere to the sports arena. Event set up called Panther Town. They did Panther Town after they wanted me to DJ because I was in their class for another, uh, another type of hospitality class. She wanted me to DJ, give me extra credit. I did it. Aaron saw that there were people out there dancing. I actually having uh, interactions with each other, even if they didn't know each other. So once they saw that, they wanted to put that in athletics and Aaron was the pe person who put it together. The DJ hopes his music can continue to keep the GSU Sports Arena as one of the most unique atmospheres in the country. First, Georgia State was just known for RJ, but we made this year into something else to bring school pride in. And so hopefully that brings a lot of student involvement and a lot more activities involving students and showing off their talents too. For Primetime Sports, I'm Rashad Milligan here with DJ Mark B. What you mean you don't know DJ Mark B? Back to you. Play ball. Thanks for being with me. Remember, you can get all the latest Georgia State sports news by subscribing to our YouTube channel at GSU Primetime Sports. Remember to follow Primetime Sports on Twitter at Prime Sports with a Z. I'm David Shealy. Have a great week.